In this section, we're going to cover some intermediate formulas. The first formula we're going to go over is an if statement. If statements are one of the most versatile and useful functions out there. They are seemingly simple and easy to understand, but are also powerful, especially when combined with other formulas. The formula starts off by specifying something you want to test, then stating what value you want returned if the statement is true, and what value you want returned if the statement is false. The formula will end up looking like this, equals if, open parenthesis, what you want to test, comma, the value if true, comma, the value if false, close parenthesis. An example will be very helpful here, so let's take a look at our sample data. For the if statement example, we'll start off by typing equals if open parenthesis. What we want accomplished with this if statement is for the formula to return the average loss if the year is 2014. So what I'll reference is if cell A2, which is the column that contains the year, equals 2014. So this is the test. We want to see if the year equals 2014, comma, if the year does equal 2014, we want the average loss returned. So I'm going to reference the column with average losses, comma. If the year isn't 2014, we'll just have the formula return, not 2014. Close parenthesis. As you can see, for this first cell, since the year is 2013, the formula returned not 2014. Now, if we extend the formula down the column, you can see for the rest of 2013, we had the same value returned, not 2014. But then in the first row, where the year was 2014, we have the average loss returned. And if we scroll down a little bit further, you can also see that in the first row that moved to 2015, the value went back to not 2014. One thing you may have noticed is I added quotes around not 2014 in the formula. Here's why. If you want the formula to return a text that you're going to specify, instead of a cell, you need to add quotes around it. When I referenced the average loss cell, cell E2, I didn't have to add quotes around that cell. But then since I wanted to specify the text that the formula would return if the test was false, I had to add quotes around that text. This was a simple example of how you could use an if statement. Once you get comfortable with this formula, it can be very powerful when used in combination with other formulas. This is something that we'll cover in the next few lectures. But if you close your eyes